Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding remove filters in Power BI. Remove filters is almost similar to all filters which is there in Power BI except that remove filters does not return the table. So we will see an example of remove filter. Before that we will check the details about the option in Power BI. So remove filter it clears the filter from the specified tables or columns almost the same simil similar to all filter functions. So only difference is it can only be used to clear filters but not to return a table and only be used to clear the filters. This function is not supported in direct query and in row level security as you know most of the filters and the time intelligence functions and DAX, most of the functions won't be able to use in direct code. So there are two ways we are going to see the remove filter. One is remove filter without having any attribute inside that. So the filter will be taken out completely. Now the next one is remove filter with a table or column attribute inside where only that table or column will be removed from the filter. We will see an example of that. So now we are having a data set the adventures work data set where we are having the product table sales table and sales directory table along with the date table and we have created a measure one is total sales that is we have summed up all the sales amount together and created the total sales now we will select a slicer inside this and in that slicer we will select the country we will change the slicer direction to horizontal and we will move the slicer here now if we select any value in the slicer suddenly the filter context will come into the play and this card visual will change with respect to the selection we have done in the slicer so it's, it will change the values with respect to the selection in the slicer so here filter is applied in this card visual the same way if you are selecting a table and in this table if you are selecting the dates you have selected the year and the month the same value we are going to put it inside the table visual and suddenly the filter context got applied and the same result got it filtered with respect to the year and the month and more filter will be applied to this table when you select the slicer because with respect to this country region the table is getting filtered now we don't want this filter to apply so we will create a measure with remove filters you can do the same thing with all filters also but we will create a measure with the filter so we will give the name as sales on equals to we have to use calculate function calculate total sales you can do the sum also but since we are having the measure we will change the measure itself total sales and here we can rem remove the filter remove filters so the filters will be taken out from this total sales measure we will see how the table and the card is responding to that so we will create another card we will copy and paste it here itself we can take out this total sales and we will select the sales or this card we got the same sales of course, the result is same, but the thing that is varies is just because of the filters. So we will select Australia and see. See here it is changing. There's no filter with remove or it's not changing. There is advantage of remove filter. The same we will can use it in the table also. We will select the select all. You can see there is no change in the back. Now we have got additional blank column that we can avoid it by using the help of if statement. So we have given the if statement, if is blank, the total sales, if the total sales is blank, you can give it as blank, otherwise you can give it as calculate total sales and remove the filter from it. Got this table and see in this table, it is not using the filter for sales or to select any other filter also. If you select any other filter like Australia, Canada, it is not moving it. So that means we remove all is working for everything. That means all the filters have been taken. We haven't given any attribute for that. So all the filters have been taken from the remove. So why we need to use this remove all filters or remove filters for the columns? That is to get the percentage of total sales. So if you want to get the percentage of total sales you have to take the individual sales divided by the total sale to get the total sale you need to have the remove filter applied so we will create a measure for that so sales percentage equals to divide numerator is total sales denominator will be sales of and the alternate result you can give it as zero now we will use the same sales percentage and we will include that also in the inside the table and you can see the percentage is one one means that is 100 you can change it percentage symbol here so you can see 100 and we can see the respective percentage of all the months here to see it more meaningful can change this table to matrix table use the year can change this table to matrix table and select the matrix so here it will be seen correctly so with respect to the years we are getting the sales percentage and it has been 100 now for this 10 percentage how much is the percentage for each month we can see it here so in this way remove filter can be used so now we will do one thing now we will take one more table and we are going to take this matrix table this matrix table so what we are going to do is we will take the date column here 
as the rows and we will take the month and then the same date we will take the year the values we will take the total sales so here if you see you can see the matrix filtering it with respect to the year and as well as the month at the same time if you remove this total sales and if you give this sales or you can see everything is same throughout so what we can do is that we will try another remove filter now we have seen a remove filter where we have just give the remove filter without any arguments we will give the year as argument and so that we don't want to filter with respect to the year we just want to filter with respect to the month so we will give year as the filter so remove filter and we will give the right name attribute as year and we will check once again how it is so all the month you will be getting the same amount we will see how it is so for getting the same amount with respect to the month we have to give it the attribute for year we will try and see whether it is working so calculate total sales and we will give remove filter and we will give a date and here we can give the year attribute and we will see so we will drag the sales by month so here you can see it perfectly the sales by month you can see here everything changing when we give total sales if you remove the sales by month that if you give sales all the values will be similar but at the same time when you give the give the attribute as a year date here you can see the row is not changed to january 2017 18 19 20 21 everything is given as the same result february also the same result so instead of taking the filter from everything it is taking filter from only the year so the month you will be getting without any filter first measure we saw without any attribute now in the second measure we have seen with respect to the column and one more measure we will create and that will be with respect to the table only. now we can take one more matrix table and here what we can do is that we can select the year I and mean a date column and we will be taking the date only and then we will be taking the total sales so here it is filtered with respect to the year and the month and if you want further filter external filter you can select a country name here and it will filter with respect to the country name but here if you see when we gave the remove filter and without any arguments the value is not changing the entire value is on the same thing I and mean in same total we have given the year as filter like we have given the year as an argument for the new filter and we have seen this year is not changing with respect to the month it is changing but the year it is not changing so now we are going to see we will give the remove filter only for the date table not for any column only for the date table and we will see how it is respond so we will select the measure and we will create the measure as sales date table equals to calculate total sales and we will give the remove filter for only date date table we are not going to give to any column inside the date table we will give only to the date table we will see how it is for the responded so we will select the date here and of course we have to give the any statement for blank so if is blank total sales we can give it as blank otherwise we can calculate the details so we got it everything is similar no it is not similar when you are not giving any external filters you can see everything is similar in both the tables but the moment you give external filter here it is not changing anything but the remove filter function with respect to the date table here it is getting filtered with the, according to the external filter that is australia that is selected so what that means is that we can create a calculation now if you see july it is 0.38% and this 0.38 percentage is from this overall total sales the value for australia we need to get the percentage so that we are going to give other measure so sales date table percentage equals divide total sales by sales date table so in this sales date table we have removed the filter for the date table itself. so we will try that also inside and we will give that percentage now we can see in this table there is no difference between anything in these two tables so the moment we are going to select australia so we can see how the percentages differ so here the total sales for australia is this is the value for total sales in australia but here if you are seeing this percentage is shown with respect to the total sales of all the countries this value this percentage is shown with respect to the total sales of all the countries so the total sales of all the countries and the percentage of that sales 
for Australia in 2017 is 1.40. So. But when we come to this table, the total sales for Australia is this much value. And the total sales percentage for this value for Australia in 2017 is 14.38%. So that is a big difference. So this is a diff basic difference between so remove, or remove filter without any argument and remove filter with argument. Because with arguments, you take away filter from the column, from the table, and you can create more measures, more meaning to the table. So, hope this will be helping you. Thank you. Have a nice day.